What's up YouTube? Today we're going to work on a new project. It's going to be a catering rig smoker. I wanted to work on this because of the project that I'm working on, my day job, construction job. Uh, I want to have a topping out party when our all our steel is installed and up and going. I want to be able to uh, throw a barbecue for all the guys. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the model that I uh, designed for this uh, catering rig smoker. Uh, you can see it's got two chambers on it. Uh, it's about 120 gallons. It's got a big firebox. Uh, that little thing you see on the side is a little blower that I I made. Uh, works by just forcing some air. Anyway, it works pretty good. But uh, anyway, you can see the shelves on it. Um, it's got a some nice custom wheels. And um, yeah, so we're gonna build this. Okay, so we've got in this box here from Southwest Wheel, we've got brake hubs, and here we've got the wheels and tires that we're going to use. Turn the tires uh, 185, 14 inch, and uh, you've got to basically take a few measurements here. Okay, so all of these parts uh, that I've got here, I got from Amazon. I've got the brake hubs, all of the hardware that came with the brake hubs, the rims, and these uh, spindles here. Uh, the spindles, I don't remember where I got those, but they're 3,500 pound spindles and they got a grease fitting in them. Uh, they seem like they'll do the job. So, based on the, the model, I want to have 4 feet or 48 inches from hub face to hub face. So, in order to get that dimension of the axle, I want to take a measurement from hub face to where it's got to be welded in. Okay, so not only <clears throat> is this the first axle I've ever built, but this is the first YouTube video I ever put together. So please forgive me for the kind of lame editing and uh, sound. Um, hopefully I'll get better. So. Okay. So. I gotta leave a little bit of room down here to be able to put the weld in place. So I'm thinking probably three eighths of an inch or so. So we'll call that three and three quarters. All right, so we got our axle tube figured out. Basically, we're three and three quarters. We want 40 inch face, 48 inches face to face, from hub face to hub face. And if you take three and three quarters plus three and three quarters is uh, seven and a half. That leaves us with 40 and a half inches. Now, over here we've got some tube steel. We've got, this is for our frame. We've got this four inch schedule 40, which is for the smokestack. And then this piece of two inch schedule 40 will be the axle. So let's get going, we'll get a cut. All 
All right, so here I'm going <clears> to <throat> cut this axle tube up with this evolution saw. It's a really, saw works really good. It kind of sucks having to do it on the floor, but with long pieces, I haven't built a stand for it yet. But uh, it's, a, it's a good tool so far. Uh, and here I'm just cleaning the rust up off of these spindles. Uh, they're just raw steel, so they're kind of, they got a little bit of rust on them. So get that cleaned up, uh, get them stuck into this tube. Now I already kind of checked and made sure that these were the right size before I got them. Um, didn't realize how loose of a fit they were going to be. Uh, I don't have a lathe so <clears throat> in the future I'll get a lathe I hope. But uh, yeah. Okay, so it's a pretty loose fit. So, because it has a loose fit, I have come up with this harebrained idea that I'm going to, you know, put these hubs together and um, use a couple of magnets. And <laughs> it's definitely uh, sketchy at best. But, uh, you know, I've never built an axle before, so this is uh, the plan, uh, at least the plan for now. I got these squares out. I'm going to uh, see if I can't clamp them on. And uh, at least if I can get it to stay lined up um, without holding on to it, I could probably get a tack weld in there. It's a little uh, more complex than I thought. So here I kind of have this idea to go ahead and uh, use a straight edge to clamp along with the the two framing squares and that you know started making me feel a little bit better I'm thinking I'm getting somewhere here so I got it to where I could you know keep it squared up without actually having to hold on to it sort of so it's still pretty uh, pretty loose kind of unstable I should say so here you can tell the wheels are turning but I'm thinking to myself, this is this is definitely uh, not the best way to approach this. You know, I could have edited this part of it out, but I figured, you know, us, you know, amateur fabricators here can see that you got to try, because if you don't try, you're never going to make improvement. So, okay, guys. Don't laugh, but here's the setup. I think it's gonna work. Okay, so I've got two squares and I've got them aligned onto the face, the hub face. Pretty tight, probably could use a little bit. And obviously I need four feet on center, so, or four feet face to face, so we've got a 48 inch straight edge and I've got these framing squares set so that they're even. I got them clamped together. On the back here, I've got some clamps holding the hubs, or the, the drums square to the table. Now my table ain't perfectly square or flat, but I think this will get us close enough to where we won't just tear the tires up on this thing. So, you know, it's not perfect. But I think it's going to be good enough. All right, let me know what you think. All right, so here we're just getting the axles lined up and getting the tack on them so that I can uh, hopefully keep them straight enough and I can get a full weld around them. But as you can see here, it's probably not going to work out so well.
That's definitely not good. Okay, so that was a big fail. Um, the spindles are not straight and uh, it's not gonna work. So I have a plan and it's, uh, <laughs> we'll see if it works here. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna triangulate a, uh, some jigs that I can bolt the hubs to and hopefully I can get these uh, squared up together to where I can actually weld these uh, spindles onto the axle tube without without them moving around and getting crooked on me. So I got some marked up some stuff in SketchUp. Got these. Uh, this, uh, I don't know, triangulated shape piece that I'm gonna cut out on the plasma table and then I'm gonna weld these into some angle iron and hopefully they're stiff enough to hold up to uh, the forces of welding. So, wish me luck. All right, so getting these cut out on the plasma table, I'm starting to feel a lot better about what I'm trying to do here. I know that I need a stable platform uh, to really keep this axle aligned, keep the the spindles aligned in the tube, so that the, when the wheels roll, you know they're they're not crab angling or doing something crazy to mess with the uh, alignment or tear up the treads on the tire or whatever. So, So I'm getting the parts uh, laid out, uh, start cleaning these up from the from the table. They do get kind of wet, so I to get them dried off. Uh, I want to fit it to the hub face to make sure that I can actually use the lug nuts to, to keep everything centered in there, and it's a pretty good fit. I got the diameter of the hole the right size where the, the nut just just seats itself in the, in the hole that I cut with the plasma table. And um, this is it's really looking like this is actually going to work here. You can see you get it. You can see that that centers it right up when I put those nuts in there. So it's exactly what I was looking for. So get these pulled off. Going to uh, get the angles cut to length. Now I did. Uh, double check to see what that length was going to be. I figured it out in the model, but I just wanted to, you know, do a test fit to make sure it was going to work. So, I really got to cut these pretty precise so that they fit just right. And uh, there's that evolution saw. With the short pieces, you can see I can put it up on the table and cut no problem. So here I'm just getting things aligned up. Uh, I want to get it clamped down to the table and be able to start welding it. So there's this Lincoln welder I got here. It's, it's a really actually a nice welder. I like it quite a bit. So getting this thing clamped down to the table. You can see I'm getting the ends tacked together. Everything seems to be fitting just right. So get some solid welds on the ends and then uh, weld that center piece in there. Uh, once I got these angles put together, that center was just just perfect in there. So now I have this jig, I can build these axles all day long. <laughs> I just make uh, make them whatever length I need in between. Uh, some flanges, get them bolted together. And anyway, so here I got to pull these hubs back out of the tube. All right, so now <clears throat> I'm going to measure this corner to corner. Uh, those dimensions are the same because each one of those pieces of angle is exactly the same length. I mean, down to the down to the probably sixty fourth of an inch. So if I pull these dimensions from corner to corner, it's it's absolutely square. So 
get these flanges leveled up, <clears throat> get a tack on it, and uh, looks like we've got an axle. All right, if you guys like this content, please like and subscribe, and uh, come see the next video.